Well, wasn't that day just mental? So today it is Tuesday. I had to think about what day it was then. I'm like, is it still Tuesday? This morning I had a very, very early start. I had to be in London super early for a shoot specifically because I had to be there super early because I had to be back in Brighton by two to have my hair cut. So I've had my hair cut, as you will have seen. So yeah, I had a shoot this morning. <laughs> I had a shoot this morning. I'll talk about that at a later date and I will like tweet links and things like that when it is out. So that was like my morning and then I had to get back to Brighton to have my hair cut, which I've had booked in for ages. The shoot was kind of like, has just come up in the past couple of weeks and having my hair done, like my hairdresser has booked up for months and months at a time. So I was like, I cannot miss this appointment, please. <laughs> had to have both done in a day. Also had to move getting my new tattoos to tomorrow um, because it just it was meant to be done this morning but the shoot kind of happened so um, oh good drilling hasn't stopped grr drilling oh, I can still hear it it's so annoying so today has been a little bit mental and I am quite tired now uh, that 5am start though I'm not very good in the mornings and it carries over <laughs> to the afternoon hello yeah. Do you want to be up here too? Okay. I've got your bum in my face. I don't want your bum in my face. What are you doing? I am very tired and I'm just gonna have a nice chilled evening. And then I've got like a nice day tomorrow. I'm gonna go to town and see G and get some new tattoos. I need to go and have something to eat because I haven't actually eaten since like six, well, six o'clock this morning, I had a protein bar and then nine o'clock this morning I had a croissant <laughs> so um it's nearly five i'm not feeling very good right now i'm gonna go have something to eat and a cup of tea mm, tea do you want a cup of tea come on please no i'm not actually going to give my dog a cup of tea <laughs> okay so i've had something to eat I'm feeling a little bit more human. I just need to take my makeup off now because I look wrong. Something about me does not look right and it's putting me off when I can see myself. So I'm going to get into like no makeup, like hair up somehow. There's not that much hair to put up so it's going to have to be a low ponytail. I'm still getting used to this. I don't want to see any comments of I don't like your hair. You shouldn't have cut it because it doesn't look right today. It's just not looking great. I also just laid staring at my ceiling for quite a while and it's gone a bit flat. Yeah, if you don't like it, don't don't tell me that yet because it's first day of new haircut. So let's just like, in Ross Geller language, we're just gonna, but yeah. And once I've got my hair in some kind of bun, I'm going to tackle this. This is just out of control. Like even over that side, which I can't really show you because the windows are open, is out of control control you can often tell how like out of control i feel about life by the state of this room and i think this just gives a really good indication of how i am feeling right now i'm gonna make this the most zen room ever and then i'm probably gonna fall asleep are you ready for a montage cue the cutesy little music Hello, come on camera. There we go.
the last night I've had what I think could potentially be classed as the best sleep of my life. I was so tired. I think I went to bed at about 10 o'clock and I got up. Oh, now I need to go outside. Hang on. And I got up at, I think it was somewhere between 7 and 8 and... Oh my god, I've slept so, so well. So I'm going to get on with a little bit of work this morning, sort my diary out, and then I'm off to get my new tattoo later. So I'm very excited about that, all the tattoos. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, right now, I need breakfast. I don't know what to eat. Oh, I have yogurt. Yes. Pop you in the cupboard. I quite like when I have my hair up, half up, half down, even though it looks like a mess at the moment. I quite like the length it is now. It looks good. I think I'm gonna use one of my new home sense bowls. I really like it, it's all like bobbly, like my um the Sainsbury's ones, which are really heavy. But yeah, it matches them quite nicely. You'll you'll see. You'll see that video. Very, very exciting video. So I've had my breakfast, I've sent something over for sign off, and now I'm having that what do I wear issue. I just can't decide what to wear today so I might be here a while. Does anyone ever find it really hard to decide what to wear if you haven't done your makeup yet? I feel like this is where I'm going wrong. I don't know, I haven't done my makeup and my hair is a little bit like so I feel like that's not helping. I hate this kind of weather where you just don't really know how warm it's gonna be. Okay so this is part of the outfit that I've decided to wear today so I've just got my leggings, I opened the front door and realized how cold it was outside and these keep me really nice and warm and then I've got this top that I've had for ages it's the really low round neck one which I just I love these I think they are so nice and soft and comfy I've just tied it in the middle because otherwise it's super long but I'm basically this is only for when I'm actually being tattooed and then I'm gonna have this one over the top for most of the day aside from um, when I need my elbow to be accessible so yeah, I picked this t-shirt basically because it has a really low neck, it's not too high, so um, the scoop on this jumper won't like overlap because that really, really bugs me. So um, yeah, that is what I'm wearing. Um, I don't know if you can get these t-shirts anymore, I'll link them below if you can, um, but this uh, jumper is from Urban Outfitters and um, I just, I love it, it's such a cute colour. Ta-da! So yeah, I'm thinking this and then my pink vans for when I go out. Sunglasses always needed. This lipstick is the best lipstick ever. It's the Revlon HD Gel Lipstick, I think that's what it's called. Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Colour in 700 HD Sand. Possibly my favourite lip colour of all time. I'm going to be buying backups of these in case they get rid of it. So it's a little bit later and I've just been doing some worky bits. Um, really, really boring worky bits like signing contracts and stuff like that, which is kind of fun, but also it's kind of boring. But um, I'm having some lunch now. I'm really excited about this lunch. I've got some whole wheat rice, some tomatoes, a little bit of Mexican chicken, and some avocado, and a tiny bit of watercress, just because I thought I should have something green and leafy in it, and that was pretty much all I had. But yeah, now I'm gonna carry on doing that so that I can go out at half three and get my tattoo. I am all ready to go out and get my tattoos done. I'm really excited. I think I'm actually going to be meeting Poppy maybe for a cup of tea after as well. So yeah, really looking forward to this afternoon now. Despite how rainy it is, I'm definitely going to need to pack an umbrella. I didn't think about that. I thought I'd show you my outfit before I go. So this is what I'm wearing. Ray-Ban sunglasses, the jumper from Urban Outfitters I showed you earlier, same leggings as earlier. This is my denim jacket, which is from ASOS and I love it. It's like really oversized and it's cropped. It's like the perfect length for me. And then I've got my pink fans to go with my jumper. I don't know why I'm really enjoying matching pinks at the moment. And then I've got this nude bag. This is from Aspinall. They sent this to me and I am absolutely in love with it. It's the first Aspinall bag that I've ever been sent and I'm so excited. I bought quite a few of their things in the past and I love this so much. And I love the fact that it opens like this. So it has the metal bits, it like slides. It's so cool. Doesn't quite fit an umbrella, but I'm uh, gonna have to live with that. Hello. 
For those of you that don't know, this is G and she tattoos me and I love her. She's so gentle. I'm all done. Now I am off to meet Poppy for a cup of tea. I think I can see her, but I can't tell. I can't tell I'm so blind. Oh my God, it is you. I've just been going, I'm really blind. I can't tell if that's Poppy. <laughs> She's here. Oh, She's real. Hi. I always say that I'm seeing you in my vlogs. <laughs> Because we're just eating or drinking and yeah. then that's it. I've got my eye on over here. They've got these ones, which I already own like two of. <laughs> and I just wanted another one for the bedroom. They also have these ones down here, which are like proper baby ones. But they also have baby cheese bars. Oh my god, look how cute it is. I've never seen a baby cheese. Oh, no. and I think they're really sweet. So, I'm gonna go to the bedroom as well. So, I am about to drive home. I had such a nice time with Poppy, it was good to catch up because we've both been like on holiday. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now, make some dinner. I need to ring Amelia because I have a missed call from you, Amelia. What did you want? I need to find out. I get really like when I get missed calls from people and they don't like text after, I'm like, what did they want? Are you ready, kids? This song at the moment is one of my favourite songs. My friend Lois really got me into this and I'm so thankful. It's such a good song. It makes me so happy. I think one of the reasons that I love this song in particular is partly because the little sound that it makes literally sounds like a Game Boy turning on. <laughs> makes me so happy. Oh my god, there's traffic. I'm home and guys before I go in I just wanted to take a moment from the, for this bag because it's not like the style that I'm wearing a lot at the moment like I definitely prefer slouchier bags but I am obsessed with this like I just think that it's such a beautiful bag I love the design of it it's so beautiful I'm really really happy with it so pretty perfect okay how am I gonna get you guys out I don't have enough arms for all of this Fit. Yes. Same. If I repot this one, what are the chances it's going to survive? Can someone let me know? Do I need to put pebbles at the bottom? I feel like I heard someone say that. Someone help me out. I'm clearly clueless. Hello. Hello. You alright? So I am just popping out to get some food. I'm starving and I want to cook like a massive chilli tonight and make sure that we've got like loads of meals prepped for the week or just like the same meal but frozen for when we're working late. So I'm probably going to end the vlog here because I'm going to spend most of my evening cooking and like popping bits of this video into the vlog. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. Today it is Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm actually not feeling very good today i've got a, i feel like a little bit of like coldy fluey and i didn't sleep very well last night hence the um ginormous eye patches my friend alex gave me the recommendation for these they're from like skin iceland or something like that you keep them in the fridge they're really like nice and cooling because i'm meant to be shooting some stuff today and i'm really not feeling great so i think i'm gonna rearrange my diary a bit i'm meant to be going out for dinner and i'm like i don't feel great and i do not want to like make everyone else ill and give everyone else like a cold or anything like that. I have my breakfast. I've just got um, my normal granola and then today because I'm not like feeling super great I was like I'm gonna put a little bit of the pippin nut like um, hazelnut nut butter on it because it tastes so good and it's like a nice little treat. Okay how can I show you my tattoos? So, so some of you might remember I already had the moon and it was done a long time ago and the tattoo artist used like really thick needles so it's didn't look dainty it also just looked too long but i just wanted it like updated so we've gone for like this line work around it and some dot work so once these are all healed i'll do an updated tattoos and piercings video i also booked back in for next wednesday so there's more coming and then this is my newest one I'm super happy with this and it's so so pretty but yeah that is my most recent one let me know if you would like to come with me for my next two i'm really excited i'm having one done behind my ear which I've just, I've wanted done for such a long time. I'm a little bit scared, because that's like, that is my head. So yeah, I'm a little bit kind of like nervous about that one. These ones, like I was just chatting away, like I don't even flinch when it starts. And G is like, 
it's literally like being tattooed by a sugar plum fairy um she is just the best and the nicest person ever i'll leave her information in the info box yeah i'll keep you updated on how these are healing generally these heal so quickly because they're so like tiny i am going to sign off now and i will see you guys again very soon i think i'm gonna continue vlogging and that will be up at some point so yeah let me know if you want like the weekly vlogs to carry on i think there will be a tiny bit of a break though late september just because i will be prepping for vlogtober because that is happening i always get questions on is that happening and of course it's happening <laughs> vlogtober and vlogmas are both happening i kind of have like a bit of a plan in my head but yeah any videos you want to see what kind of like style video you want to see let me know thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys again soon bye